Howdy! It's good to see you guys this morning. As maybe you heard in our gospel reading, it's again really long uh, story from John. And it tells um, the story about Lazarus. This is a friend of Jesus that gets sick and he dies. And Jesus goes to the place where Lazarus is buried and he raises him from the dead. But there's a lot of other really wonderful things that happens in this story. And I'm going to lift up two of these things for you uh, today. And the first is that when Jesus is talking to Lazarus' family, uh, particularly Mary, uh, when he sees how much she's mourning her brother, when, when he sees how much she's hurting and how sorrowful she is that Lazarus isn't there anymore, then Jesus too is moved by what he sees because this is his friend as well. And even though he knows that he's going to heal uh, Lazarus, he's going to raise him from the dead, he starts weeping with Mary and weeping with the other people uh, that are also mourning the loss of Lazarus. And this is a really wonderful thing because it lets us know that it's okay to cry. When we're sad and when we're frustrated, it's okay to cry. And more than that, that when we are upset, when we are sad and frustrated and we don't understand why things are happening, uh, that God doesn't leave us alone. And God doesn't walk away from us in our need and in our pain, but rather that God joins us in our grief as Jesus joins Mary in hers. And so I think these are wonderful things to consider as we continue uh, to walk through this viral exile that is maybe you are feeling sad because you're not seeing your friends as you are maybe frustrated because you can't go and do the things that you're used to doing. That not only is it okay to release that frustration, even if it's crying, it's okay. And that Jesus is with you in that. That he's not going to abandon you during this time, but he is actually there with you. So those are the things I'd like for you to consider this week uh, as we continue going through this uh, time of viral exile. And hopefully it'll help you um, keep your spirits up that when you are sad, uh, that Christ feels the pain that you feel and that Christ is there with you as well. Okay, let's pray. Good and gracious God, it is a strange time we live in and there's a lot of frustration, and there's a lot of grief, and there's some stuff out there that can be very scary. But we are glad that we have you in our lives. We're glad that you don't abandon us when we aren't uh, in the best shape. We're glad that when we are hurting, you don't walk the other way, but instead you, you come to us, you walk to us. And we can have comfort knowing that you grieve as we grieve. Lord, help us remember these things until that day where we can join one another again in giving glory to you. Amen. All right, uh, that's it for today. God be with you until we meet again.